Iga Swiatek versus Coco Goff is the first semi-final for the ladies' Rome Masters for 2024. And both have had different rows to get to the stage. Goff entered the tournament as the number three seed, and we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Freire, but there was no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-3. In the third round, she take on Christian, the lucky loser. And this was a battle. After dropping the second set, she would fight back to win. 6-1, love 6-6, 6-3 to advance the fourth round. In the fourth round, she take on Bedosa, who had taken out Andreva and Navarro along the way. And after Goff dropped the first set, she would fight back to win. 5-7, 6 4 6 1 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Goff would take on the number seven seed in Australian Open finalist, Zhang, a lady she's actually never played before. And after a close first set, Goff would get through in straights 7 6 6 1 to advance to the semifinals. She won't take it into the tournament as the number one seed and we'll get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Pera. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6 love 6 2. In the third round, she take on Putin Seba, who had beaten Trevison and Stevens along the way. And after going down in the second set, Fiontech would eventually come back to win 6 3 6 4 to advance to the fourth round. In the fourth round, she take on Kerber, who had had one of her best weeks in her comeback season. And after a close first set, Fiontech would get through in straights 7 5 6 3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Fiontech would take on Madison Keys, the 18th seed, who she just played last week in the Madrid semi finals. And the result was the same, with Fiontech getting through in straights 6 1 6 3 to advance to the semi-finals. These were played 10 times before with Fiontech leading 9-1 in their head-to-head, -head, including winning all their clay court matches. In fact, their first match was actually here in the semi-finals three years ago. So we've come full circle after they've played so many times, but it's going to be really tough for Goff to try and block out that head-to-head -head because Fiontech has won nine of those 10 matches. If Goff's going to win this one, she needs to serve well. Her serve has been so all over the place the last couple of weeks and her double faults have been rising. I think she might have hit the most double faults this year as well. So that's serve really needs to be tight if she's going to get anything against Fiontech. She can't be giving away free points like she has been the last couple of matches as well. If Fiontech's going to win this one, just needs to keep doing what she does against Goff. I mean, she knows how to beat Goff. She's done it almost every time. The one time being in America with Goff having a new team and there was a little bit of a different circumstance there, but she just needs to do what she does, make Goff move, and maybe get benefit from those errors that Goff keeps making. Really intriguing matchup, and I don't know why. Maybe I'm the only one who actually wants to see what this looks like. I want to see what Brad Gilbert and Goff can do on clay, because they've never been together on clay against Fiontek, but I gotta go with Fiontek still, even though I really am keen to see how Goff has improved if she has improved on clay against Fiontek over the last 12 months. But let me know in the comments below who's making the final.